And here we are on Wednesday, September 13th, 2017. Let's take a look at some of our Alaska stories. Actually, a story that happened last Thursday, about 10 till 7 in the morning. Alarm went off at a gun store in Anchorage, and police responded. They found a front door had been broken, a glass door had been broken, and 36 firearms had been taken from inside the store. Right now, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms is taking the lead, and local police are helping them. A couple of different nuisance bears were relocated in the Petersburg area. Uh, the, the most recent one here at the beginning of September, about a 200-pound black bear that had been getting into garbage. Uh, before that, they took a, a slightly smaller one out, and they relocated both of them over on the mainland because everybody knows that bears can't swim. Obviously, they can't. I mean, the whole point of relocating the bears is so that they don't have to kill them. However, these are bears who have already become habituated to eating people food, and, and they've said that they've noticed that it has been a really interesting year a lot of bear activity in alaska a couple of different possibilities for it could be bad berry crops could be lack of fish and it could be that just after a couple of years of uh well not having a whole lot of bear activity the people are complacent and they're leaving their garbage out like they shouldn't the university is going to be holding a regents meeting and then they're going to be talking about hiking the tuition once again for uh, pretty much across the board for the 2018-2019 and again for the 2019-2020 school year. Part of this is because the state of Alaska cut the funding and part of it is because they've got lower enrollment. And so the solution that they're talking about is raising the price for everybody else. The group called Incorporate Nikiski, and their whole point is to take this unincorporated community of Nikiski and make it its own city. Well, they have to have a petition to, to be able to take it to a vote, and they were blocked, and now they're trying to amend it, but that was blocked, so now they, they may simply withdraw the petition entirely. Um, they'll try again, because they want the power to tax themselves, versus being taxed and having somebody else get the money for it. The Fairbanks City Council did, in fact, advance a stipend for paying for water for people whose water sources were contaminated by the city of Fairbanks. Now, this goes back to the 1980s when the city of Fairbanks and actually quite a number of other places, including in North Pole and at Ielsen Air Force Base, the firefighters were using a foam for practice of putting out fires. Now, this foam has perfluorinated carbon compounds, whatever, PFCs. The point is that these contaminate the water supply when they get down into it and can poison people. Well, their solution for the city council was to give them city water, which, of course, then they have to pay for. And so this stipend will cover their costs for the next two years. Well, some of the people testifying are like, hey, you ruined our free water supply forever. Why are you only giving us two years of water? It's going to be a lot cheaper to just give us water than it will be to get sued. The city council is like, yeah, well, we expect to get sued anyway. So... We'll see where this goes. We have many more stories. If you'd like to learn more about the Teachers Union in Anchorage or about the wildlife troopers sighting more caribou hunters or about the hundreds of dead birds that have been washing up on Bering Sea shores, then become a subscriber and you'll get 30 to 40 minutes of news emailed directly to your inbox. RadioFreeSpeech.com.